Okay, so now we're going to do what I really want to do, uh, which is not read disks, but create new ones in a non-DOS uh, format. And image disk is really great at that. So uh, we are going to try to make a game disk from HP 85. And if all is good, we can play with it later. Uh, the first thing I need to do is exit because I need to prepare the image. Uh, so the um, image, which is binary, is game two, uh, and it is a binary. It's not a full image. It doesn't have sectoring information. So we need to add that first. And there's a little utility in image disk that does it. Binary to bin to imd game. The HPI, so that's just the hex dump, right? It has no formatting, it. and we're going to add all the lift formatting information in game to the IMD, which is the one we're going to burn. So, uh, we know a lift disk has 35 cylinders. It has an interleave of 5, it has a sector length of 256, uh, the sectors start at 0 and finish at 15, so there's 16 of them, it has two sides. So basically what I did is give the X data and described a format that's totally not unusual uh, for the PC and uh, it complains because this input file is smaller than output image and at cylinder head sector so v300 so what happens is that this image is a little smaller so I need to go here and it will only write 33 cylinders fine Let's try that blue done okay so now we go back to IMD and all we need to do is to go back to settings, drive B, cylinders uh, 33, I guess now. Uh, it probably doesn't need all that because it will re we'll read it from the uh, uh, from the disk itself. Intel B5, right? Uh, so I don't think I need that at all, I just need to write disk and here it is, game 2 and it took the IMD file and insert this to write, press enter to proceed. And off we go. And it's reading the sectors in order and putting them back in inter 5 you can see it right here. So we just have to wait. Uh, it's uh, formatting and filling it in this weird format all by itself. And going very slowly at it. You can follow the progress here, it's on track 17, head 0, head 1. And it's at 250k uh, kilohertz, double density, so it's right in the right density. And goes format right, F, W, F, W. Okay, press enter. Okay, we're done. Let's try. Alright, there's some good games in that one. Okay, and here is our HP 85 waiting for his new games. 
So here is my uh, trusty HP floppy reader. It's a little sticky. I hope it works. <laughs> and off we go on here. So we've turned back the clocks here. This is pre PC era. Uh, mass storage is the 700. That's the HP ID address of this guy. And we'll see. So we'll do a catalog cat. Let's see if you can read it. it yeah, ha 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 ha. And it can read the disk. It will work. Okay, so here we have all the nice games. Um, let's try uh, load aster. It's an asteroid game. I like this one. Okay, it's finished. Run. Ta-da! Quadrant number, I have no idea what that means. Two. Oh, and here we go! And here we have a, a little spaceships, a few asteroids. We need to destroy this thing, and uh, our firing is going to be uh, affected by the gravity. So I think you have to aim fairly far out so it goes around. Okay, no guarantee here. Fire! Dum, 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 dum. Oh, that's not bad, that's not bad. Well, no, not far enough. I'll crash. No, I'm good. Well, not quite. Boom. All right. <laughs> Do you get the idea? We just uh, were able to recreate an ancient uh, diskette that uh, no, probably nobody has anymore or is not working anymore. Thanks to, thanks to ImageDisk. All right, that's all for today.